What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We're getting into the bees and I'm gonna put that honey soup on them. The next couple of days are gonna be 80s and 70s. 70s at night even a couple of days. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put that honey soup on them. I'm gonna get them one to one sugar syrup so I can get them to fill out those frames because it's gonna be warm enough and I think they'll do it. And I'm gonna consolidate that big hive so they can get it all done and that's what I'll have to lift off from now on instead of two deeps or lift off one deep every time. So I'm gonna get that switched out and get that moving and we can see how big their brood pattern is because I didn't even look at that last week. So got the smoker going, let's go. This hive also is pretty strong and it has been a little aggressive lately. And I don't know why, and I'm trying to give it a chance, but worst case scenario, I gotta requeen it. So I'm hoping this works and giving them the sugar syrup will hurt work. And I hope the audio works on this, it's really windy. This one has a lot of nectar and pollen. All right, I know. See, they're bumping me already. But it's a cloudy, windy day. So I'm sure they're not happy either. There's a bunch of nectar in here. It'll flow on somewhere. not be able to do this. Here's one frame I can take. Now I'm checking for eggs. There's eggs in here. two eggs I see in there, so this will be one that goes to. Now I'm expecting there to be eggs in this next frame. She was laying drone brood a week ago, so I'm assuming she's moving down here because that's what that green frame is. Oh yeah. Here's a bunch of eggs. All right. Some more eggs. So we're gonna leave this one. And be careful because 
most likely the queen will be out of there. Wow, this is packed full of pollen. Like packed full. And nectar on that side. Well. And there's the queen right on the bottom. Look at that. She's got drone brood, cap brood, eggs. She's got everything on this frame. Put that in the center. There's actually a couple of queen cups. They're empty, but I'm going to squish them just because I'm in here. how much I'm getting buzzed here they're making they are not happy look at that wow she's doing a good job Stung again. Another good frame there. Another one there. It's full of eggs. Holy moly, this hive was gonna explode. So that's three frames over here that's got eggs and brood yet. What's this one? So some nectar and pollen and honey. All right, the rest are honey. All right, do you see how they're attack? They're not attacking me, they're bumping me. They're not liking it. It's cloudy day and everything, I know that. But I have three extra frames over here. I think I'm gonna make a split. And what I'm gonna do, I don't know what to think about this. I might order a queen. Either way, I have to make three more frames have to go in here. Somewhere, some, some way, somehow. <laughs> All right, I decided I'm just gonna make a split. I have more than enough. This is plenty big enough. I'm just gonna make a split. I'm gonna take the queen out and let this hive make their own because they have all the resources. I have a nuke over here. I'm gonna get the queen out, put her in there with another frame of brood is my goal. Hopefully this works. She was on this one. I'm not expecting her to be there, but let's find out. Man, these girls are gorgeous. Just not happy. Where are you, honey?
this one's solid pollen and nectar on this side. So it's gonna go in the nuke. Why is it when you want to find her, you can't? Well, this one's got a good frame of brood. I'm gonna put this one in there. Where is my queenie? Man, I am getting stung up like no other. This is a capped honey, pollen patty, or brood on that side. Not brood, sorry. Um, bee bread. All right, they need an empty frame. There, that split's done. Calm these girls down. Just in case the queen's in here, we give them an empty frame also. We'll wait a couple of days and we'll see where that queen is. bottom box is messed up. Remember I had that big gap? It's still there with this one. This is a new super too. Hey, I got an idea. I don't know if it'll work. So what I'm doing is I put the cover on here, inner cover, and then I'm gonna scar up this honey, capped honey, so it drips and see if they'll take it down below through the inner cover. Worth the shot, I just don't want it over the hole, and I don't want it over the hole because I don't want it dripping down there. Oh, they are roaring like no other, so I'm guessing I got the queen in the nuke. Oh, I'm getting it in the leg now. All right, I'm gonna clean this up. I'm gonna put that nuke in spot, and then I'll talk to you and tell you, explain things. All right, so I came inside because I feel like it is so windy. It's 81 degrees, I am sweating. First time I was sweating doing bees this year. But <clears throat> I feel like I need to explain myself. The reason why I did that is because the past about week, six, maybe seven days, six days, you'll notice in my vlog, 
well, it would have been yesterday's vlog because this is Monday, May 9th. Monday, May 9th. So, Monday, May 9th, and the past couple of days, Brian can vouch for me because I've sent him pictures, and I actually, I'll probably put the pictures in right now so you guys can see us. That hive has been very aggressive, and I don't know why. It never was in the past. When I was cutting anywhere in the backyard, they would come and tag me, and it hurt. And I've got, I was the most swelled up I've ever been in my entire life. This is the most I've ever been stung in my hands, and I had gloves on. So I, I was looking online for the California beekeeper, and I was going to order some queens from Yos, and I was going to talk to Sarah about it today, and their shipping, when it could be shipped out, it'd be a little while yet. But after being in there today and seeing all that, I felt like I'm making a good move by making a, letting them make their queen. I saw the drones that were capped and they've been capped now for over a week. There were some of them that's been a week on that green frame and they've some hatched. So I feel like I'm in a safe zone there as far as that. And if I'm not, then you know I'll worry about that when the time comes. Now the nuke, did I get the queen? Yes, I got the queen. She is in there. I just went and looked. I had to stop filming and run inside. I have two kids that are sick and they're throwing up. So it's just a juggling match right now. We're busy with work and it's spring. It's just, it is what it is. So I got them cleaned up, came back out here, went and checked that hive, the nuke. They're quiet. There's, they got the queen. I'm most certain they have the queen. This hive back here, I went to check the Apame hive, Apame hive, however you want to say, Apame hive, yeah, Apame hive. I went and checked that one. That one's doing good. They have not even a frame full of brood, but it's better than what it was before. They're bringing in a ton of pollen. I gave them sugar syrup to really bounce back. They had a full one side frame of nectar in there, so that was from the syrup. As I was checking that, I kept getting tagged by that other one, so I had to smoke the other hive and <clears throat> I'm most certain I have the queen out of there and they're just not happy I don't know where the aggressive came from because they weren't last year they were very they were very nice gentle hive for the most part I mean towards the fall but in the fall every hives a little aggressive you know they're protecting what they'd stored up for the winter so and then I so I ran over to the other side of the creek to look they only had three frames of brood so we're okay it was kind of cool i wish i had the camera but there's so much construction going on right now down the road at the neighbors that you wouldn't be able to hear um so but when i took the frame out the queen was walking and she was circling um one of the it was like almost like watching a dog go to the bathroom but she was circling one of the um combs put her head in there turned around and as she turned around the egg was starting to come out and I got to see it and then she put her butt down in there and that was pretty cool so I wish I would have had that on film but she's also not marked and I'm gonna be going through my film from last year I'm pretty positive I marked her blue she should be blue so either they cleaned it off or last fall they made a new queen and they could have made a new queen last fall because I remember last year was such a <clears throat> rough year because of the drought that I didn't check them for a while towards the end because they were fine on stores. They were they were sitting good. I just left them be, and it was like I want to say a month I went without even checking them. So they could have requeened, and I didn't even know it. But she is pumping. She has so there's two frames of or three frames, three three and a quarter frames of capped brood, and then she had another whole frame both sides of all eggs. So that high is gonna explode soon. So now I'm just gonna watch this one, make sure this one gets an egg or a queen. And I really didn't wanna make a split this early. I mean, send me that early. I made a split already last year, but this year is just a different year. So hopefully it works out, fingers are crossed. If not, I have to buy a queen, not the end of the world. I didn't wanna do it this way because I really wanna build my apiary. But anyways, if this high, if the queen, I put her over underneath the pine tree, my lucky spot. I put her over there, and if she's any kind of aggressive, if they're still being aggressive after 20 days, then I'm going to call that queen, and I'll just order a new one, or I'll let them make a new one, because I can't have that with my kids. I'm not going to let my kids get stung, so not as much as me. Maybe they just didn't like me. I don't know, but I like them. So, hope this all makes sense. I 
So now I gotta go back in the house and tend to them. Glad you guys see me again. <laughs> Happy beekeeping. Bye.